Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea on how to make an air traffic controller for our airport. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I'm gonna hit create new design. If you've already got your airport created using the videos that I've got up in the cards above, you can build this in your airport. I'm gonna make it separate, and then I'm gonna save it as a part to bring it in. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is rename it. I'm gonna do ATC for air traffic controller, and then let's start with the pieces we build it with. I'm gonna build mine with a rectangle. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it a little. I wanna type the number 40 for that base and then I only want it to be 15 high. If you've ever done my house video, you could make this hollow with walls. I'm gonna leave mine solid just because this is more for fun than actually to have it look like you could walk into it. I wanna put another piece on top of this, so I'm gonna do work plane, and then this is also gonna be a box. Remember how this one, if we check its measurements, is 40? So I'm only gonna make this 15. So I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna stretch it to Crazyville, then I'm gonna type the 15 and press enter. I'm gonna make this one a dark gray, just cause it's what I'm choosing. You can pick your own colors. I'm gonna make this one a light gray. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm working off of. So I did a Google search of air traffic controllers and I want this one. So I'm building up and right now I'm making this piece of the tower and then I'm gonna make these pieces. And then finally I'm gonna put this cool piece up on top. You can look up your own video. You can make yours a little different. I'm just giving you the steps I would use. I'm gonna hit work plane and put it back on the edge, grab these two, select a line, click on the large one so it's the master. That lets me see these three dots and I want it to be middle. I'm gonna hit this corner view so I can see real well and now I can see these three dots and once again I want it to be middle. Notice that looks pretty darn nifty. I'm gonna change the height of this and I'm gonna decide to make it 60. So now it is time to put the little cone piece on top. Let's just double check. Actually, this one's a cylinder, then I'm gonna do the cone. Once again, work plane, and this should get so second nature for you to do this. When I bring this out, right now it's size 20 and it's just a little bigger, I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna make it 23, but I wanna make it thin. Five, I think, is gonna be spiffy. I want the sides to be round. And then I'm gonna hit work plane and put the work plane on top of that and now I'm gonna bring out a cone and set it there. All right, friends, so remember we have 23. Well, half of 23 is 11.5, so watch this. If we click on our cone and type 11.5 and press enter, it will match exactly with that cone. I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna open it up to 13 and I'm gonna make the height of it, see here how it's 20? I'm gonna make it 15 high. Let's select all of those, click align. I'm gonna make the rectangle the boss so I can see it. Click on center, and I can already see where the three are here, so I'm gonna just click center. Let's put the work plane on the ground so that we can see what it looks like. Friends, we're already real close to having these in place. I think I'm gonna change the number of this since it's so much taller in the real one. Let's go back to Tinkercad and where I changed it to 15, I think I'm gonna make it 25. I think that's closer and I'm gonna take this top radius and I'm gonna make it 15 so it goes a little wider too. Friends, I wanna have windows on this. So right now I'm going to do duplicate. You could do control D or you could click like I just did. I wanna take this one and make it a hole Instead of 11.5, I'm gonna do 10.5. Instead of 15, I'm gonna do 14. So I just subtracted one from each of those. If we fit view, look at it from a corner, you can see how this is gonna cut out the inside. I do wanna make this a little more round. So I'm gonna to go to the purple one and I'm gonna slide the sides all the way. And now when I group those two pieces, Boom, we have got a hollow area for our windows to poke through. This will make it look a lot more cool. I would like to put a roof on it quick. Watch this. If we double click and we click on the hole, notice it says the hole. If I change the height to 24, all of a sudden that'll be inside. And when I click over here and group it, now we have got that solid top just like that. Let's hit work plane right here and let's find the 
top, which I'm going to call the crown jewel of the project, we are going to build the top with the diamond. When you put the diamond on top, you can see this has that shape that I like up here, so it's close to the other one, but we need to cut it flat. We're going to cut it flat really quickly by also bringing out the box. When you bring the box out, shrink it down so that it lines up with the bottom of what we're going to use of that shape. I'm going to slide it past so it fits. Notice how I got that at size 7 and it lines up perfectly. Yours should as well. Now if I group those two pieces, notice it says two shapes and select boom I've got that sweet shape I want I'm gonna hit D to drop I want to make it a little taller and then I'm also gonna hold down alt and shift and I'm gonna stretch it out to the size I want now if we look real quick see how these slope the opposite way friends all we have to do is click on mirror and find the corner where we can see it here's my up and down flip BAM air traffic controller just like that once again i want to hollow this out there's my control d second one's a hole i'm going to do alt shift so this is two fingers and i'm going to go down one click if we click on this and make it transparent boom you can all of a sudden see in and it looks like transparent glass up on the top of our tower all right friends let's get this all lined up again I'm going to hit work plane and put it back down on the blue. Let's zoom out so we can see everything. I'll use the home button. I'm going to grab it all, hit select and align. Let's make that big gray one the master and pop pop. Everything's in place. Let's just add some windows to this real quick. Once again, we are going to bring out a cube. Hold down shift, stretch it to crazyville. And I'm going to tell you the number that you want is size two. Now when you make this little guy, we need to use fit view to get close to him, and we want to change his length to a lot more. I'm going to tell you the magic number is 30, so it's this long stick, and we are going to hold down shift and click on our purple piece. So we've got two shapes selected. Hit a line, make the purple one the master, and we want to go to the edge, we want to go to the bottom. And we want to go to the middle so this piece is lined up right there once again I'm gonna hit fit view so we can see it better and I want to put little windows down here on the bottom so watch this control up about three clicks then arrow keys till it's in so this will be a window nice and low if we do control D and go one two three four and control D and control D we have got four windows in a row I'm going to click back on the first one. I'm going to hold down shift and select all four. And I'm going to make them a group quick. Now I can do a line. So I'm going to do shift, select the purple, click a line, make the purple the boss, and put it in the middle. I'm going to take those four windows and do control D and control up so that I've got four windows there. I'm going to take those two shapes, so I'm selecting just them, and I'm going to group them. And then when I do Control D, I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees, so I've got windows on all four sides. I'm also going to put windows up here. If we look back, you can see there were large windows up there. So once again, I'm going to click on it. This time when I bring out my window, I'm going to set it up on the top of this, so it's easier to get at. It's a whole box. We're going to hold down shift, and this time we'll make it smaller. I'm going to tell you the real magic number is five, but remember we need to make it wide. I'm going to cheat and use the black handle. It's just that easy to stretch it, and we only want it to be two millimeters thick. If we do control down arrow, we can drop it in. Notice I went down about three clicks. Now we need to align it, so let's do shift select. So we've got the purple. Click a line, make the purple the boss. This is the center. I'm going to look at it from a corner, and this is one of my favorite tricks, guys. Control D. Without touching anything else, we're going to rotate 45 degrees and let go, and then do Control D again and again so that we've got windows all the way around. 
I'm gonna put the work plane on the ground so it's easier to see this. And then I'm gonna make sure that when I drag this selection, I don't have that selected. Now when we hit group, boom. Air traffic controller, cool view on top, and windows all the way through. Friends, there's lots of room for you to make this more epic. You can add antennas, you can put people inside there, you could have floors so that it looked like they could stand on it. You could even make the inside components and just have a blast as you make this more realistic. Of course, when you're done, friends, make sure you select the part and you click on Shapes Collection and you want to create a shape so you can bring your air traffic controller into any project you make. I'm going to type the real words here, air traffic controller. So that way when I search, it is easier to find. Friends, if you make an awesome one and want to show it to me, don't forget you can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HLModTech. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCAD. Of course, friends, you can also visit HLModTech.com. Use the Tinkercad tab to learn all kinds of cool things about Tinkercad. And also use the messaging service to reach out to me almost instantly. Oh, lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.